when my portfolio goes to the moon, what do I do with the money? What do I do with the crypto? Do I take it out? When I do take it out, how do I take it out? In what capacity? That is the question we're going to get into today. So if you're excited about massive appreciation of your assets over time, hit like on this video. Let's get into it. So I want to put a big disclaimer out there before I get into the particulars of this video. The main thing is that the whole concept of off-ramping, I think is an antiquated way of looking at crypto. And let me just explain quickly what I mean by that. So when crypto began, you always thought of fiat currency as the ultimate currency, and you were just trying to increase the value of your cryptocurrency in dollar value or pound value. So what I mean by that is that you buy one Bitcoin, but you don't look at it as one Bitcoin. You looked at it as a thousand dollars or eighty dollars, whatever it was at that time. And so you're always using the dollar value as the denominating currency, like we just judge the Bitcoin based on dollars. Now, as we move into utility environment and, and utility becomes a real thing, like companies and countries are actually using cryptocurrency, we don't necessarily look at crypto the same anymore, especially you and I, the more enlightened of the, of the bunch. You look at things as, oh, what's the utility of this asset? Not what is its value in dollars? Now that is a unique shift but when you look at a liquidity event, like all the money coming into the market and your portfolio has gone up significantly in value, moving it into the bank off ramping seems like a really weird thing to do, considering you would actually now be moving your valuable asset in cryptocurrency now into the bank, into the failing asset, which is really interesting, right? Cash and the way the dollar works and just cash in general, fiat currency it's getting to that point where it's like everyone's realizing it doesn't work. So moving the assets into your bank is just a strange way of doing things, I think, when we look at utility and adoption over time. But you're here because you want to know how to do that, right? And I'm not judging you. You can do whatever you want. Just for me personally, especially with my most valuable asset being XRP, my plan is just to not sell any at all. I'm never selling my XRP. There are ways to utilize the XRP outside of moving it to the bank. I don't need that XRP to hit my bank account at all for me to make use of those assets. If you are really interested in understanding how that looks for the future, what to do when this prices go up and everything, there is a link in the description to register for the 1% Mastermind, which will be announced in tomorrow's video. So there's a little bit for you there. To, so come to tomorrow's video, I'll explain it more. But for everyone who is here, and wants to know actually how to off-ramp and all the different options to take your crypto from your wallet to basically sell it and have money in the bank. Well, there's a variety of ways you can do that. First thing you can do is actually a little blend between the two. You can actually spend your crypto, right? And this, that comes under a few different brackets and we'll get into those. So one way that you can spend your crypto is by having the Uphold card, for example. You have your assets in Uphold in the exchange, although they're not an exchange. And just like Editor Lee does, and many of you do, you can actually spend your crypto. There's a little story here. We were in New York, Lee and I, in New York. We'd seen price appreciation on the lead up to the proper party event. If you haven't watched the video, watch the video now. And Lee was looking at his Uphold and he said, oh, I've just made like 60 pounds. That day, he went to buy a shirt for the event that cost $60. <laughs> like he just got a free shirt out of nowhere and he was able to spend his crypto without creating a taxable event. And he was able to spend his crypto using that card, right? And that's one way of taking profits, right? So you can spend your crypto and obviously there's limits on those cards, but depending on how much you have, that might be a valuable opportunity for you. The other thing about spending crypto is finding recipients of the crypto or interested parties in a transaction. So for example, you might be able to spend your crypto directly by buying a house. You could quite easily knock on all the doors of houses that you want to buy and say, would you accept cryptocurrency as a payment? And I'm gonna pay you an XRP. Here's Lewis Jackson's channel. He'll tell you all about crypto and, and XRP to show you the value of XRP. Now will you take it as payment? You never know. Somebody might say yes. I mean, there's also marketplaces online where they, you know, say I'll accept 
Bitcoin or, oh, I mean, it makes me feel sick to say Bitcoin, but we'll take cryptocurrencies as payment. And you could actually do that. That's a wonderful way to spend your crypto without taking it into the bank. Now, I can't speak from a tax perspective or like tax mitigation. I can't tell you how to do these things from a tax perspective. That's also one of the main reasons why I'm building this mastermind. You can register below. So essentially giving people the opportunity to be connected with professionals who know what they're talking about, right? And so I'm equipping you here with all the different ways that you can do things. Your team that will be assembled will be able to advise you on which ones are the best ones for tax mitigation. Now, the ultimate tax mitigation video is coming tomorrow. It's a massive video. I cannot wait to share it with you. Um, so make sure you subscribe with the notification bell on so you can be there in the live premiere chat so we can talk about it as the video is going on. I watch in those live chats. So it'd be great to say hello to you, come by and say hey, where you're from, and if you're excited for the mastermind. So we've got Uphold, you've got Nexo, Coinbase, Crypto.com, all of these entities, these exchanges have cards that you can link to them. You've also got the CL card by Ledger. We can actually spend the crypto that's on your Ledger nano device, which is fascinating as well. But these are all ways you can spend your crypto. Obviously, there are other methods to get money into the bank from your crypto, and that is by using an exchange to bank transfer you the money. Many of the exchanges have this. I mean, Coinbase have it, Binance have it. You can just use their system on there and it will send the money to your bank. The only thing I can kind of with certainty say is that as soon as that money hits the bank, from the exchange, that is definitely a tax event. And I'm not saying the other things aren't tax events because I don't know for sure, but moving the money directly from an exchange into the bank is a taxable event. You'll be liable for capital gains tax in that eventuality. Let's expand our minds a little bit here and we'll certainly expand your brain tomorrow. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited for that video. When we're talking about taking profits or off-ramping, we don't necessarily have to think about off-ramping into a bank or into a traditional system. What we could think about is collateralizing our crypto. This comes with positives and negatives. The positives being the higher the value of the asset that you're borrowing against, the higher that loan to value will be in dollars. It's also great to take loans against your crypto because it's tax efficient, it's completely tax free to do that. The problem is when you're collateralizing at a high value asset level and that price comes down, you're gonna get margin call. And then that whole thing just, I mean, it hits the fan at that point and that's really, really bad. Balancing that act is really difficult. That's not my job. I'm not telling you to do that or don't do that. I'm just giving you as many options as possible. Try not to think about profit taking or off ramps as money, to bank there are other ways to do it is, is the point now this is going to get into a little bit of the video tomorrow but there is also an option instead of off-ramping to a bank there is also an option by which you could gift or donate the assets to an entity or organization could also be a charity so there's other ways to do that i've talked with many people um, high net worth individuals on my consulting calls for high net worth individuals where they're discussing the idea of embedding smart contracts into a will structure and have charities be the beneficiaries of these wills and trusts. And so this is absolutely possible and depending on your jurisdiction, you might have tax mitigation for that and there might be nice tax implications for gifting in that way. But additionally, if you have trust structure, like I'm gonna talk about tomorrow, there's a way that you get all of that money filtered through your trust structure and out the other end, tax-free. So stay tuned for tomorrow again. And finally, I mean, another way to kind of take profits here, uh, we've gone past kind of off-ramping here, but you could also kind of just convert those assets into another asset, right? It could even be a whole completely other asset class, like I said, with real estate. But when we look at Uphold, for example, Uphold's mission is to be an anything to anything app, right? You can go into that platform, buy anything with anything and have that instant conversion over. So I fully believe that you're gonna have the likes of stocks and bonds and real estate and everything added onto Uphold to where you can convert deeds for properties with your XRP and have these conversions happen super easy, right? That might be great. Again, it might be good for tax mitigation. I don't know. You'll have to check with your professionals or check with the team that is assembled for you in the mastermind. <laughs> but it may serve you better, potentially, to convert into other assets without seeing that capital gain. That might be an option, certainly super interesting. What I will say though, is that 
there is an app called the Zum app. That's X-U-M-M. The Zum app is unbelievable. I have the pro account. I got the pro account when it was at 160 XRP to buy it. I think I heard it goes up five XRP every week or something. So they have this urgency to get in while the price is down. And within the Zum Pro app, you have escrow features and off-ramping and on-ramping. It's just this super simple, easy system. Now they're off-ramping. The reason I haven't talked about it much in this video, their off-ramping is currently unavailable. So you can't do that right now. You can't do that off-ramping. And so if I were in fact selling my XRP, I would most certainly be doing it through the Zum app. I wouldn't do it through the exchanges. I wouldn't do it any way like that. It would be through the Zum Pro app. The Zum Pro app has so much more to offer, but that's exactly how I would do it if I were doing that with XRP. Now, my personal situation, as I've alluded to at the beginning here, is that my XRP doesn't need to move. Right? It doesn't need to move into my bank for me to make use of it. In fact, that would be the most tax inefficient way for me to do it. There are other things like XLS 30D and the AMMs, the ability to earn a yield while holding your XRP in custody. I mean, super secure and I know impermanent loss is reduced with this XLS 30D update. I will also be taking advantage of collateralizing my XRP to get tax-free loans using those loans to buy cash flowing assets. Those loans in the first place are tax free. So I buy cash flowing assets with tax free money, obviously then pay the tax on the income earned from those properties, but I can use the income from those properties and from those cash flowing assets to pay off the loan. When the loan is complete, I've still got the assets and I'm earning that income that pays the lifestyle that we all want, right? And so try to think outside of the box. You don't always have to think so square about off-ramping. There are plenty other options. Weigh up your risks with the professionals that you've assembled in your team. And if there's any more that you can think of that are just really exciting and any other ways to kind of utilize crypto currently as it stands right now, please let me know in the comments below. I'm making it a mission. I went from not reading any comments to now I'm reading all the comments. After the New York video, I was just so happy about the community and everyone was so positive. So I've been responding to every single comment. So if you just want to say hi, or you want to add something to the conversation, please let me know in the comments. Hit like on your way out. Make sure your subscription notification bell is on for tomorrow as we launch the 1% Mastermind and go through this crazy trust structure that is extremely tax efficient and actually really easy to understand. So stay tuned for that. Stay emotionless. And I will see you in the next one.